Well, Friday means it is Roadie Roundup time as we chat about some of the fun headlines making the rounds this week. And what an all-star panel we have assembled right here for you. Look at this trio. We have Dr. Michelle Cruz from Trinity Rep, Brian Mulhern from Cat Country 98.1, and of course, Mr. Phil Ayub from Bo Tyler and the Sly Dog Company looking quite sly in that sport jacket. Good morning, folks. Okay, good morning. Hey, Brendan. Great to see so everybody. started talking, my beagle left. Well, you told me before we went on, your Beagle's a fan of Will Gilbert, so that's Yeah, I'm very why. disappointed. <laughs> well, we'll try our best to persevere and chat about some fun headlines. Let's get right to it. This week, one of my favorites, and Phil, I know one of yours, Mr. Bruce Springsteen announced some tour dates for next year. So that, that kind of got me to thinking about your dream artists, artists that you wish maybe you had seen live, the ones that are on your 2C list, or maybe who's the person that you're just dying to see that you just haven't gotten around to checking out yet, Michelle. Michelle, I'll start with you. Sure. Um, I wish I had seen Johnny Cash, and I love Jeff Buckley. Not a lot of people know him, but he's an amazing artist. I didn't get to see them before uh, they left this world, but I would love, love, love to see Radiohead. I have not been able to see Radiohead yet, so that would be my to see list for sure. Very solid list. How about for you, Brian? For me, it begins and ends with the Wiggles, but I find that a 52-year-old man showing up without kids is frowned upon. So <laughs> I haven't been able to make that happen. Now, actually, I will say Tom Petty's a big one. I regret never having seen him live. The Eagles with Glenn Fry, And I'm a bit of a rocker, as are you, my friend. Rush without Neil Peart, one of the best drummers of all time. Yeah, great solid list right there. Phil, you've seen everybody, I know. but who I was going to say, like, I've been lucky. I've seen a lot of shows. I've seen Sinatra twice. Uh, I've seen The Grateful Dead with Jerry Garcia. I was happy to see him. But when I think about somebody we lost that or a while ago, for some reason, I would love to have seen Bob Marley. He's someone that I wish I, I'd seen. And then also someone I tried to see uh, but didn't and played down the street from me last weekend, Pat Benatar. Literally down the street. Her husband was in my store. <laughs> but he, 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 he really was. And it did uh, the song Heartbreaker was about Brian. <laughs> well... <laughs> The mystery, the mystery has been solved, but those are some great options. I love those selections right there, you guys. And moving on, according to a new report from DoorDash, 8% of people out there say they never try new items when ordering food. So I've got to know, are you an adventurous eater or are you someone who's picky and sticks with the same old things? Brian, I'll start with you this time. Well, in these inflationary times, I am getting more adventurous. I'm doing far more dumpster diving than I have in the past. But in reality, I will say that I'm not adventurous when it comes to picking new restaurants. My wife and I tend to go to the same places all the time. But what I will do is I will mess around with the specials as opposed to sticking with the regular menu. Good, solid uh, strategy right there. How about for you, Phil? Well, I'm a moody person, so my first thought was like, yeah, I try different things. But then I thought, well, the last time I was down the street at the cookhouse, I walked in and the guy was like, oh, tuna ceviche and shrimp cocktail? <laughs> last time I was at Justo, the guy's like, oh, meatball and the oysters? So I guess I kind of order the same things all the time. And we've come up with some new nicknames for you, evidently. Brendan right gets here. that with a vodka tonic every time he walks <laughs> it anywhere. Yeah, I have to, really. How about for you, Michelle? <laughs> I will try just about anything. Um, I am a little afraid. I love those shows like Anthony Bourdain and everything, but it does scare me when they get to that super, super kind of gross insect-like food. Can't do that, but I will try just about anything, just about any drink too. Pretty adventurous. I love it. It's good to be a little bit adventurous. And last but not least here, uh, plan accordingly because Sunday is my birthday. I love Metallica and Michael Jordan. Make your selections appropriately. So I need to know what's the best or worst birthday gift you have ever received or perhaps given? Phil, I'll start with you this time. Well, as, uh, as, as everybody knows, you turned 40 last year. That's and, incorrect. Uh, Wrong. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> turned 30 and I forgot about that. And had a, a party. And I made an appearance for about 15 <laughs> minutes, which I thought was um, very generous of me to give my time to, to your birthday. Um, but no, seriously, I love Snoopy. So anybody that gives me anything Snoopy, I will save forever. And I mean that, like I really will keep it forever. Very sweet. How about for you, Michelle? Um, I too love Snoopy. I didn't know that about you, Phil. Yes. We will these moments together. Um, <laughs> uh, I think it was nice to give a really cool gift. I gave uh, someone a helicopter tour 
of New York City. I don't even know if they do this anymore. But we did like a quick helicopter tour around and then we went to go see Jay-Z at Madison Square. That was really fun. That was an awesome. Wow. Spectacular, Brian. How do you follow that, my friend? I'll follow it by completing the Trinity. Huge Snoopy fan, huge Peanuts fan. I will say the worst birthday gift I've ever received. I was turning 10 years old. My parents told me, we will spend $100 on anything you want. This was 1980, okay? So I said, I want a trampoline. And they said, you're too fat and uncoordinated. You're going to get hurt. So they said, pick something else. I said, well, I don't know. Just give me anything but a bike. I wake up on my birthday. I go downstairs. There's a bike. I said, I told you I don't, didn't want a bike. To which they said, you're a spoiled brat. Happy birthday. Well, it's nice to see you've gotten over it, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> it a lot, doesn't it? And that, by the way, was the inspiration for Heartbreaker. There you go. It all comes full circle. Full circle. circle. Brian, Phil, Michelle, a pleasure. I love chatting with the three of you, either on TV or off. Thank you for being with us right here on The Road Show. Thanks, Thank Brennan. You. Have a great weekend. <laughs>